Okay, I promise I haven't changed anything. Uh, here we are. I'm just continuing on with the last video. Uh, so we have the, uh, the observations, 2,000 observations in millions right here. We've got the, uh, and these are static values because, you know, I didn't want to have them changing on me every time. I've got the minimum and maximum values in millions here instead of, instead of these. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to do here is um, reference the min. So the first value is x value uh, is the difference between the, 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 actually the range, right? So the maximum minus the minimum divided by how many categories I want, right? which, by the way, these should all be absolute references, plus the previous category. So what that'll do is it'll allow me to, um, you know, now you can just copy it, and that automatically creates the uh, the categories for me. And I'm going to go down around, I don't know, 50 or so, 51. I don't know. If there's more, it's okay. Um, so here we are, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this this um, array function, all right? So um, let's let's actually um, see if I can come in here a little bit further. There we go. So if I type in if and I'm going to change this uh, in a minute. All right. So this absolute is less than or equal to. Whoops, 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 whoops. No, 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 sorry. If, now, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. If this, and let me go all the way down here. So these are the, this is the raw data. This is the one that I have to reference. So if, if this absolute is less than or equal to this category, then I want I want to create a one here, right? and um, I want to know I want to count this. So count and enter it as a um, as a uh, as an array. I think it's Shift Alt uh, Enter on your PC. Uh, it's Command Enter on the on the Mac. Okay, so there's 20, 245 observations below that value, right? So if I wanted to um, just, you know, go all the way down, go all the way down in my 50 categories there, and there we are. So now I can, I can, I mean, this is of course zero. So I'm going to um, plot this now. See, I can plot this on a histogram. Actually, I'm not going to use a histogram. I'll use a, a, a smooth line scatter for the VOG curve. There we go. So what this tells me is that there is... Whoops. I don't know why those are thousands. Oh, because I didn't do, I didn't do percentages. Sorry about that. These should be percentages. Let's do it right. So this is... Percentage. I have to convert it to a percentage. So divided by, well, I know it's 2,000, right? So 2,000. And that 2,000 needs to be an absolute reference. So there we go. So now when I, when I um, plot this, you'll see that it's a VARG curve. So let's uh, let's plot this versus this. You know how to, I assume you know how to uh, uh, select columns like that. And then when I do the uh, the scatter plot again, there we go. That looks that looks better. See that these are in proportion. So 100% it ends with. So this is the, uh, the, the, the VARG curve for 
uh, for the base case. Okay. So now, if I want to do some uh, inflexible phasing, so that, that's it, that's it. This is, uh, this is one option on that decision analysis tree, right? Where we looked at just the, just the base case, you know, assuming no changes in real estate, we built it now, all that stuff, right? Okay. The only flexibility is the demand, so that introduces uh, the, the, the probabilities in there. Okay, so now inflexible uh, phasing, if I wanted to do some phasing, remember that rule that said uh, the critical growth is 20% each, each year, and the number of levels to add, if I have two s s uh, sub uh, subsequent years, uh, sequential years, I guess, growing at 20% each, and I'm going to add a level. So I need to just add, see all I did in here was just add uh, another, another row right here. And I put a rule in there, in, starting in year three, that says, let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. So if E32 uh, hold on. What is E32? Oh, there you go. So, if the demand, if the demand in year what year two minus the demand in year one is greater than twenty percent, twenty percent. That's the the cell reference for the critical change times. 200 spaces, then, oh, and, and if the demand in year three minus the demand in year two is greater than that, uh, that change, why is that not happening? Well, okay, and then E33 the previous year didn't expand. We don't want to expand in in, um, in subsequent years, so it's got to equal zero that that previous year. Um, we'll we'll add we'll add um, you know one level. This is the the level that we choose to add. And I think there's a mistake in this formula, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Um, all right, so. Let's see what we did here. Yeah, see, I, um, <clears throat> I made a mistake. Okay, there's a mistake in the formula. Great. Well, this is a good time to find it. So this, this, this right here, this should be the same as this in the formula. So I'll fix it now, right in your... Eyes there. Okay. So that formula should be here. And oops. Yeah, so I changed that. So here we go. So we're gonna do that. Whoops. What did I do? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, let's just undo this here. I, I didn't remember a... I didn't remember a... a mistake. Well, let, let's... Um, <laughs> let me figure out what's going on, and we'll, I'll come back to you. I don't want to make you uh, spend 